Let's talk more with Andrew Pierce and Kevin Maguire. Um, and you've picked uh, the tennis row to start with, Kevin. Um, in a sense, this is a really high profile test of the status of a vaccinated or non-vaccinated person. It is, and whether if you're a famous uh, sports person, the world's number one male tennis player, whether you get a, a free pass, which it mm. seems that was happening uh, with Djokovic until there was an outcry in Australia. And uh, Scott Morrison, the, uh, the uh, Prime Minister, a right-wing government there, has, has had to act and create a diplomatic uh, uh, incident. Uh, but, but Djokovic himself, he's never said what his um, status is, which I think means he isn't vaccinated. Uh, so why should he be able to go to Australia if, if others can't? Uh, look, he, he stands or falls by himself, but his wife has been promoting the uh, nutty 5G telephone mass links to COVID conspiracy theories. So uh, he gets everything he, he deserves. If he feels utterly humiliated, well, there we are. Uh, that's, that's the case. And I do wonder if in the UK, certainly with footballers, whether it should be uh, your jab to play. If, Fans have to show uh, um, certificates that they've been uh, jabbed to get in the grounds. Why not players? I mean, it's, it's where you stop, isn't it? I mean, this is an issue right across Europe. We've seen Austria with the non-vaccinated effectively in lockdown. Uh, we've heard Emmanuel Macron, uh, you know, really dissing, if that's the right word, the unvaccinated. He's saying he's deliberately trying to, uh, to irritate them. The New Zealand Prime Minister wanted them to be second-class citizens. So, I mean, you know, is this, is this the start? I mean, you know, where does the UK take this? Is it softly, softly, you know, get your booster? It's a softer message here. But, you know, this is, this is interesting as we go forward, isn't it, Andrew? Yeah, and it's particularly in, in, in Australia, which has been very proud of the fact it effectively locked its borders down to visitors. I mean, unless you're an Australian, almost impossible to get in there. Uh, and this was the federal government uh, did some ridiculous deal where they gave him some form of waiver when the outcry started. Quite rightly, the prime minister of all of Australia, Scott Morrison, has intervened. Djokovic is a petulant prima donna. He's now trying to get to try, now trying to get some form of legal injunction to overturn the the, the, the ruling of the, the Australian prime minister. This man has never quite understood why in the world of tennis he's not as popular as Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal. If he looks in the mirror during this round, he might just get an idea because he's an important role model in the world of tennis. He's one of the most famous sportsmen on the planet, one of the richest, one of the most successful, and he's gone on record as saying he does not agree with the COVID vaccine. Now, he won't tell us whether he's had it or not, but as Kevin says, I think we can work it out for ourselves, and his wife is promoting these army theories. I think they're quite right to throw him out. I hope we don't allow him to come and play in Wimbledon either. And I think we should make an example of these people. And Kevin's right to talk about footballers. You know, I checked the figures. Still, there are around 12% of Premier League players who've not been jabbed. That's a disgrace. They're young men. They're important role models. They've got millions of followers on Instagram. And if they spoke out and said why they thought it was important, that would make such a big difference to the war against COVID. And we can see the impact on the NHS. We can see the impact on a number of these hospitals that have had to declare major incidents. And it's because, very largely, according to the local figures, most of the people in hospital are unvaccinated. Well, well, I and guess the government I... should say so every day. They should publish the, the, the detailed breakdown of the people who are on intensive care in hospitals because of COVID and who have not been vaccinated. It would be a really important part of the fight against this wretched uh, pandemic. Kevin, you were itching. I paused because you were itching to come in. But do you mind if we move on? I just was going to say no, no, course, that no. this, is, this is a controversial issue and you have to be careful it doesn't become yet another device since Soviet times. As Beth mentioned there, the government has responded...